Welcome to Everyday Reviews. Today we're having a look at the brand new Kukirin G3 Pro electric scooter. And first of all, I gotta tell you, this is an unsponsored review. I paid for this all by myself, but if you are interested in purchasing this after watching this video, I will leave a link in the video description as well as a $20 discount code. Yeah, it's not a lot, but hey, it's 20 bucks. I didn't even get 20 bucks off when I bought this. So anyways, uh, let's get to it. Now, this is a beast. It, that probably doesn't do it justice on video how big this thing is. It is 90 pounds. It's a little bit heavier than I was expecting. Uh, however, um, there's a lot to it. So right from the unboxing, make sure, try to get someone to help you if you can. The box is heavy, so the scooter's 90 pounds. The packaging and everything else is gonna bring it probably up to about like 120 pounds or so. What I recommend you do, flip it over, open the bottom, flip it back, and then Take that uh, box right off the top. It's gonna hold itself. Super easy assembly. Everything's all done other than the handlebars. You can put the handlebars and the display. This display is tiltable. It's a nice big display. Uh, this is exactly what you see other than the mirror. I bought this from Amazon. So after unpacking, there was a little bit of a scrape at the bottom of the neck area here. It is cosmetic, it didn't make a difference. A couple other things that I did notice on here, because I've actually got about 65 kilometers on this scooter, this, this isn't brand new, I wanted to get some time on here before I did a review, um, is the, the port for charging on the side, that little rubber flap is on this particular one, it's really hard to get in. It just doesn't seem like it fits very well. Uh, Kukirin says they are gonna send me another one, so that's a good thing. And also, the hand grips, they've started to spin. So probably, you know, not the best adhesive that they've used. And so both, both grips are spinning right now, and that's not a hard fix, but um, with 65K, it would have been nice if they were still nice and solid. Now, if you wanna fold this up, of course you can, this has the greatest locking system. Just spin this, there's a safety pin, pull, and down it comes. There is a locking hook here, and that's gonna hook right into the kick plate, just like that. Now, the only problem that I see here, though, I wish it had a more positive latching system. It is latched right now, so if I lift it up, oh, okay, it is heavy. But if I put it down and I forget to maybe push it back in and it moves, this is gonna slip, and that can cause injury if it falls on you or someone else or your back, or your muscles, if you're trying to save it. But otherwise, that's it to fold it. Now, when you fold it, it does not fold the wheels. So uh, this length is exactly what you get. So if you're thinking about transporting this in a trunk, for instance, or your hatch or something like that, you gotta make sure that you, know, you have the width or the length or else you're gonna have to fold your seats down and um, but so it's not small but what you get you get a large deck on the back you have a very beefy kick plate with a slot that you could use it as a carry handle which is quite nice we got 10 inch air filled tires it's dual suspension on here as well one of my requirements i wanted hydraulic disc brakes and this has dual hydraulic disc brakes uh front and rear as well now a couple of other unique features on this there is a rubber cover we're going to turn this combination lock flip this up and you'll see there is the battery here. A nice thing, there's a hook. We're gonna flip that up and we can take this battery right out, just like that. So it's a removable 23 amp hour lithium battery. And the advantage of this is that if you are charging this, for instance, um, in your apartment, you can bring this up to your apartment and charge it at there. You can bring this into your office and charge it and park this somewhere else. And also, I like to take it out if I need to carry this around, like I'm moving it to and from a pickup truck uh, when we're going away. And it just, it saves your back a little bit because this is almost about 30 pounds. Uh, so when you put it back in, you'll notice there are also two charging ports on the battery as well as on the side uh, right there as well. Another tip, if you buy one of these G3 Pros, it comes with one charger. I really highly recommend that you buy a second charger. Uh, it's about 50 bucks. Here's why. First of all, 
you'll charge twice as fast. You have two charging ports, charge twice as fast, big bonus. Also, if you have a, a problem with your charger, you know, maybe you forgot it at work or, or, or just something happens to it, mine is stopped actually charging. Uh, Kieran went, they, they, they fixed it, but they, they sent me a new one, but it took about 12 days for it to get to me. And if this is your you know, form of transportation, you're gonna be out of commission for a while if you don't have a charger. So having that extra one is really, really going to help. Up top, we have our disc brakes. We have a, a complete lighting system. We have a headlight, which is down low. Some people say it's a little too low. Uh, you can get aftermarket ones. I don't really ride at night, so it's not an issue with me, but I do like, you do have signal lights, which are on the deck on each side. You have lights in the front as well, and you have uh, brake lights as well. You can turn uh, them on and off. Brake lights are always on. Uh, you have an ignition key, so that's, another form of security. Not only can you take the key with you, you can take the battery with you. So, you know, there's there's nothing there for someone to steal, which is great as well. I like the color, the black and orange. The deck is a rubber base. Uh, this has an IP54 rating, so it's not made to be waterproof, but you can it can handle splashes of water from any sides. I don't ride in the rain either, but it can handle a little bit of splashing. And I love the kickstand. You know, when I said this thing is a brute, it's a, it's a beast. Everything is beefy on it, including the kickstand. It's not this tiny little thing. Um, it's built really, really well. Let's gear up and go for a ride. Okay, first thing we want to do, we turn that key. We hold the gear button for three seconds. The display, the display is on. We are right now in just like the first gear. There are three. We're limited to 25 kilometers an hour on first. But if we go second and third, we go up to 45 and then 65 kilometers an hour for the top speed. You can see we are in single mode. So it's only the rear wheel right now. So it will take a little bit longer, but we can get up to speed. We are going up a a little bit of an incline right now. If we hit that red button, we go into dual and we get a considerably more power because we have the front wheels going at the same time. Now, when you get your G3 Pro out of the box and you get the handlebars all set up, I will, would recommend that you go over every bolt. The, it does come with a little bit of a tool kit and just make sure everything's tight. I had a few screws that were a little bit on the looser side on the rear motor, and I noticed that there was a clicking sound, so I tightened those up and it seemed to have cured that. Other than that, um, yeah. And plus, for something that's going this fast, you kinda wanna make sure that everything is all tight, right? Now, one nice thing, this display, I can actually see it quite well and it, there is sun right now and I can tilt it and it is way more legible than a lot of other scooters that I have ridden for sure and also you don't need any type of app or anything to change any of your P settings so if you want this thing to ha be able to kick before it starts or you want instant start you can do it all through the P menus you can actually uh, change how hard it accelerates the top speed all of that's done through the screen so so nice passing some people here the horn works very well we're just cruising along it's very comfortable the size of the deck is really nice hydraulic disc brakes on the most part a lot of regular braking I can be it can be done with just one finger like just a little bit of trail braking just like that if you do want a little bit more aggressive braking you're gonna have to pull a little bit harder but they do stop very very well I've heard of some people putting on different brakes or different or larger rotors and I think that would definitely help but the torque though as you can see here it's quite torquey. We're doing 44 kilometers an hour and it still pulls. Now this thing will go up almost any hill with a zero run when you're in dual motor. Single motor, not so much, but remember, it all, it's all gonna depend on how much you weigh. I'm about 195 pounds, so a lighter rider is going to get uh, a faster acceleration for sure. 
and um, yeah so what I like about this size of scooter though I mentioned it is heavy 90 pounds but the bonus is that I can cruise at 40 50 kilometers an hour and it feels more stable than some scooters that I've ridden doing 35 kilometers an hour mainly because you have those air filled tires you have suspension as you can see and the more that I ride it it's actually loosened up a little bit it was a little bit tight at the beginning but when you hit bumps on this on smaller scooters it could actually really disrupt your ride this one it just pushes right through there's zero issue whatsoever we're gonna take this side road here another thing with the suspension and the air filled tires this is actually quite capable off-road not that you're gonna go on a BMX track or something like that but grass gravel roads dirt roads no problem however you know what I mainly ride on pavement so I would actually prefer to have some road tires opposed to the knobbies the knobbies are just a little bit on the rougher side and noisier side than you would have with the road tires. So my plan, once these ones wear out, I will go and switch over to some just pure street tires. But even like, you know, this is a very bumpy trail here. Everything's all soaked right up, no problem. Also what I like to do is if I'm going slower speeds, or I'm in you know, traffic or something, or if I need to walk the scooter, I will put it into single mode, and that's gonna be a lot easier. Now, this also has a sine wave controller, and this thumb throttle is quite easy to regulate. Now, if I'm just gonna stab it like this, there is initial pull. However, I can just really gradually pour it on and it's really smooth. Now, depending on what type of rider you are, I'm actually quite a, quite a power rider. I like, uh, I like high, high speed and torque. Um, I would like this to actually to have even a little bit more punch, but for most, this is gonna be more than enough, but it's not going to really be easy to pop wheelies or something if that's what you're into. This is like a nice GT scooter, just a grand touring. What a great way to get around. Not only is it fast and efficient, it's fun. It's, it's like you're surfing on the street. We are going uphill right now. I just wanna see if you can see the speedometer. We are climbing still. We are 49. 50 kilometers an hour going up a hill. Quick enough that I have to let off. And here we go. We are at, this is where I'm gonna to demonstrate to you. We are at the bottom of a hill right now. Okay, we have stopped. We are in dual and I'm just going to go. You can hear a little bit of a spin from the tires and no issue whatsoever going uphill. Just carving it up. So, so fun. Now, I'm not sure if you saw though, one thing that I wish that they had better are those plastic flaps. We mentioned the charge flap, but even the flap that covers the deck lock seems to always come up it doesn't have a perfect fit on it now all of these things are quite small little things they are definitely not deal breakers and i'm telling you this is a great all-around scooter it's heavy but there's big advantages to that there's so many great features and i love how even at nighttime everyone says oh those lights are so bright you can you're really uh it's easy to see the rider now to get the front end up it's nice to have that suspension to just to pump it up and then pop 
I just put this rear view mirror on. I'm gonna have to tighten it. It's a little bit on the loose side, as you can see. It's actually moving quite a bit on me. Oh, so we told you the top speed 65 kilometers an hour. What is the range? They say 80 kilometers of range, that's 50 miles. Is that possible? I suppose it is if you were a little bit lighter than me. Uh, also, depends on how you ride it. If you have it in single mode and you're riding a nice flat area and you're not going top speed, uh, yeah, it's probably possible. But uh, in my experience, you know, I'm charging it after every about 30 kilometers or so, uh, because when it's fully charged, you do get a little bit more pop, a little bit more acceleration than when it's worn down. And that's the same, uh, that applies to all electric vehicles in general, really, especially like personal transportation ones. So what will it cost you to get into a brand new G3 Pro from Kukurin? Well, I bought mine from the US and it was on sale for 1500 USD, uh, which is a really, really good bargain for what you're getting. 2400 watts of power, dual disc brakes, dual suspension, removable battery, uh, all of that stuff for 1500 bucks is in my books is uh it's pretty hard to beat um since i bought it though now you can actually get them in canada i will leave a link if you're a canadian and you want to save a little bit of money uh, especially on shipping uh you can get it in canada and it's free shipping uh, i paid about 100 us for shipping to get it into canada when you're turning this scoot around it is large as i mentioned um you're gonna have to get used to it a little bit if what I normally do, even when I'm in my garage or something like that, when I flip it around, I just actually hold that front brake and just push and flip that rear right around and swing it around and it makes it fairly easy. Uh, this also does have steering locks, which is nice. You, you can go end like lock to lock, so it's a little bit safer, so you can't turn too sharp where you'll actually go 90 degrees and flip over. the brakes no problem and going uphill again one of the main things that I wanted in a scooter it's not all about top speed of course because most of the time I'm usually around around 45 kilometers an hour not max out at 65 however I want the acceleration I want to get to that speed quicker and also for hills that's where it makes the most difference and of course the comfort you can see my arms aren't moving a lot right now i'm only like quarter throttle we're doing 35 kilometers an hour up a hill if i want to push the throttle down a little bit more we're going to start climbing and gaining speed we're 44 47 50 kilometers an hour going up a hill effortless love it All right, let's wrap it all up right now. Do I regret this purchase? Absolutely not. It's not perfect, but I think for the price, I don't think there's anything else out there. I've done a lot of research. I've waited over a year to make my decision on what scooter to buy. And this one comes in at probably about $1,000 less than anything that I've looked at. Sure, the, you know, the disc brakes aren't the best, uh, but the build quality is excellent. There's a lot of weight here. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but you can't have everything. If you want the big motors and the power you need, a big battery, otherwise you're gonna have no range. So I do get it, but the weight really does help in the stability. Um, but if you're looking for something more portable, this is not going to do it for you, but they do have a lot of others. And uh, once again, if you're interested in this scooter, there is a link in the video description. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them right below and I'll answer all of them. I've got about uh, 65, 70 kilometers on it. So I know quite a bit about this scooter now. So uh, that's it for today's video. Hope to see you on the next one. Cheers. <music>